Hello children. Hope you are all fine and good. Today we are going to see the third chapter Taro's River. Taro's River is a popular fairy tale in Japan, a Japanese story. It involves the story of a son Taro who wanted to fulfill the wishes of his father. Taro was a poor boy. He earned money by chopping woods from the jungle. But the money he earned was not sufficient for him and his parents. One day it started blowing cold winds. All people in the home felt cold due to wind passing from the cracks of the wooden house. His father wished if he could have some fake to energize his heart. Fake is a popular and costly drink of Japan. Taro was sad as he did not have money to buy the expensive fake. He decided to work hard. Next day, he woke up early and went to the forest to chop woods. Suddenly, he heard the sound of falling water. It confused him as there was no river here earlier. Since he was also thirsty, he followed the sound of water. Soon, he found a waterfall behind the rock. He went near to the fall and put his hand in the water. To his amaze, he discovered that water was not water but fake. He became happy and filled some fake in his pitcher, in his pot. Upon reaching the house, he gave this fake to his father. The father sipped the fake and started dancing with joy. A neighbor came in the evening. Father offered her a cup of fake. The woman happily took the fake. Father told her about all the incident which happened to Taro. Now this woman spread the news to all the people in the village. Every villager rushed to Taro's home and tasted the fake. Next morning, Taro again woke up early, searched the biggest pot and went to the waterfall. To his surprise, he found that other villages were also going to the fall. Soon, people reached the fall and tasted the fake. But they found that water of the fall was not fake but plain water. People became angry and decided to draw Taro in the fall. Taro hid behind the rock and waited till all the villagers went home. He now tasted the water again but to his surprise he still felt that it was fake. The fall was giving Taro a fake while to villager it was giving plain water. The story of Taro's care for his parents reached the king. He awarded Taro 20 pieces of gold to encourage other children to take care of their parents. Moral We should take care of our parents and elders. God helps only those persons who takes good care of their parents.